This is going to be a short video of how to update the about field on the me tab for the particular logged in user. By the end of this video, what we'll be able to do is click on this field, put in anything like I love programming and click on return. And you'll see that this has got live updated into our database. We can confirm this by going into our Firebase database and seeing that here it's got updated at the bottom. We've got an about node and I love programming. So let's begin. Let's first set the delegate for the text field. Control drag from the text field to the me view controller and select delegate. Coming here, let's implement the UI text field delegate class. So UI text field delegate. Coming to the about tab, select the editing did end method and control drag from here and create a method called about did end editing. Inside this, what we'll do is we'll send the data entered by the user in the text field to our database and update it under an about node, which is inside the user profiles tab. So let's see how we're going to do that. We'll say self dot database ref, the database ref that we had created on top dot child user profiles go under the user profiles node dot child self dot logged in user dot uid let's force unwrap this dot child go to the about tab and set the value entered by the user which will be self dot about dot text this will update the data in our database also we have to do one more thing when we click on the text field the keyboard will come up but we have to create a method to hide the keyboard once the user clicks enter. So let's see how we're going to do that. It's going to be a simple method which is called text field should return. And we'll say text field dot resign first transponder and we'll say return true. This will basically help us hide the keyboard. So let's try this out. So here we have the meet tab in front of us. Let's click on this. Let's change this to I love Firebase, click return, the keyboard gets hidden and the data should have been updated in our database. Let's confirm that. There we have a Firebase database and there we can see the about node has been created. Let's change this to programming for, and click return. There we see there's a live update to that and the about field is getting updated.